In this episode, I will first try to do a real kite loop on my 30.5 square meter kite. If that works out, I'll explain how to do it and what to pay attention to. Let's go! Today morning I saw a video from Giel where he was kind of kite looping the 13.5 square meter Nexus. Basically this kite. And to be honest, I didn't even know you can loop a 13.5 square meter like that. So yeah, the idea for today's video is basically going out in about 15 to 20 knots, something like this, trying to loop the 13.5 square meter and measure with my new woo how high these loops are. First, we're gonna switch the setup of the kite a bit because usually for freestyle, I ride all my kites on the slowest possible setup. And of course, if we wanna loop it right now, we should use the fastest possible setup. So on the front tube, I will basically use the wave option. And on the tips, I'm gonna use the fastest option with the lowest bar pressure. And then I'm hoping the kite is gonna come around. Otherwise, I'm gonna have a problem. So, the kite is set up. I will jump in my wetsuit right now and we will use the time to tell you something about our sail and kite surf safari in Greece. From October 12th to October 19th, Pascal and I will be hosting a sailing and kite surf safari in Greece. For these seven days, we will all live together on a beautiful sailing yard where our chef will spoil us with the finest food and Lucas, our captain, will ensure that we wake up at a windy spot every day. Pascal and I will help you to elevate your kitesurfing skills to a new level. We will coach using the BB Talking radio system and video analysis. And at the end, each participant will receive their own individual best of video from the trip. If this sounds tempting, check out the video description where I've included the link to our coaching camp. I hope, we hope, to meet you soon in Greece. This is 
so crazy. Nowadays you can even do a 14. Imagine that like five years ago. Well guys, this was a lot of fun. I mean, imagine six years ago, you would never even thought you can loop a 13.5 square meter one day and the feeling was absolutely insane. It felt like a kite loop in slow motion. And that's why I thought it would be very cool to do some kind of a tutorial at the end of this video. So if you want to loop your 13.5 square meter, this is how it works. First of all, make sure you have about 18 knots. I think this is really what you need and make sure you have the kite set up in the fastest possible way. On the front tube, I choose the wave setup and on the wing tips, I choose super fast. As well, I recommend the biggest bar size from Core. This is the wake bar, for example. This is the standard pro bar. And this is what you definitely need to make the loop happen. And make sure you can do kite loops on your eight and nine square meter kite. The kite loop on a 13.5 square meter kite feels very different and it's much, much harder. Riding technically wise, it's super important to get a very vertical takeoff. I mean, for every kind of kite loop, this is the main rule to take off as vertical as possible. It's even more important on a 13.5 square meter kite. As you feel, you kind of took off slightly forward, slightly more horizontally as usual, break it up and don't risk it. The kite won't catch you. And last but not least, you need a lot of power in your arms to loop this kite. You really feel the kite doesn't want to do the loop and you really need to kind of convince it to loop it. And um, yeah, that's also the reason why I didn't do any boogie loops or kite loop board offs because I really didn't trust the kite to come around every single time. And it feel, felt much more secure to kind of see the kite doing the loop. And then at one point you knew, okay, it's gonna come up again. And yeah, but I think I will try it again. And maybe in one of my next video, I will try a boogie loop or a kite to port off on a 13.5 square meter kite. I mean, that would be very, very cool. Thanks to Gil for the inspiration and thanks for watching. And I hope to see you soon in one of my next videos. Peace.